Nathan Eiffel here with the Fast Lane Truck, and I am standing next to a true hybrid. That's right, Via. They convert large Chevy pickup trucks into electric vehicles that have a range extender. In this particular case, a 4.3 liter V6. Find out more about it next. This is an extended range electric, it's all electric, mm -hmm. uh, crew cab. It's built on the 2014 Silverado chassis. So we take the, the uh, we work with General Motors and uh, we take the 2014 Silverado, we take it from their plant right into our plant mm -hmm. where we install a fully electric, powerful drivetrain and a battery set. So this becomes just like the Volt, only in this class of vehicles. So the gas motor, which is a 4.3 liter V6, is right. not hooked up to any drive gear whatsoever? No, none. So not it's, an, it's a motor. generator, basically. Yeah, it, it's just a generator. You could take it out and put it on a trailer and it would be a, uh, a tow behind. But in this case, we leave it on the engine mounts. It also helps because that's part of the uh, crash protection system, right? The sure. engine. Uh, and so right where it is, it doesn't change the certification, even though we do additional crash testing. Uh, and uh, it functions as a generator. Now when it comes on, it just idles because it's a 150 kW generator and you don't need that much electricity to drive this vehicle. Now, in terms of driving the vehicle, I yeah. believe it's a 400 mile range is the estimate or is it, uh, is that at least 400 At miles. least 400 miles. Yeah. And you get that from 40 miles of your battery overnight charge. Mm -hmm. And then when it's in the generated, uh, generated electric mode, you can go another 400 easily. If you just look at the calculation, it's about 30 30 mpg with the generator running. So you say, well, it only gets 23 mpg when the gas engine's running. Well, that's because to power the wheels, it's very inefficient. I mean, internal combustion engines are 30% efficient. Right. Electric motors are 98% efficient. So by bringing it onto its sweet spot and letting it idle and not having to go through the acceleration curve, we actually pick up additional efficiencies. Now, with that, you're able to put out, what is it, about 415 newton meters of torque? Yes. And that's at the rear wheels? Yes. And this is a four-wheel drive vehicle too, this right? This is a four-wheel drive vehicle. So are you able to take this off-road just like any conventional? Yeah. Oh yeah. This has the standard uh, General Motors transfer case. So it, while it doesn't have a transmission anymore, it has a single speed gearbox. The gearbox has been uh, outfitted with the GM transfer case. And so anything that this vehicle was designed to do, it will do. You can put a lift kit on it, you can go off-road, you can put knobby tires, you can do whatever you want to do to make this thing off-road or on-road. It's whatever you want. Now, what about capacity? Its load capacity is what, about 1,800 pounds? Yeah, yeah. And what about towing? Everything is comparable to the stock uh, underlying vehicle. So this is a six-cylinder 1500. Mm -hmm. It will perform basically like the, and I say basically because it's quicker off the line. It's actually faster uh, in zero to 60. Um, tow capacity, I think uh, you're slightly under, mm -hmm. maybe a couple hundred pounds, but everything else performs the same. We've done side-by-side -side comparisons on pulling a heavy boat out of uh, a lake in Utah, for example, side by side with the 4.8 liter V8 2013 Silverado, and every time we can out pull it, out tow it. Well, you have instant torque right off the line, yeah. for one thing. Now, I've noticed in the interior, there's pretty much no difference. It looks like it's just the yeah. standard General Motors interior. Anything you can order, the LT, LTZ, or the WT, the work truck, you can order in this. And the, then you order this with the VIA powertrain, so it becomes a V trucks. And it's a fully integrated solution. This isn't an aftermarket chop shop. This is many years and many, many, many dollars of working with General Motors to fully integrate all systems. So you get in, you turn it on, you move the Prindle into the right gear, and it performs just like the stock vehicle. Albeit, uh, when you're in battery electric, it's very quiet and smooth and zippy. So another feature of the truck is the power export. So this feature allows you to export 220 volt, 30 amp, or 110 volt, 20 amp. This is a, 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 a duplex circuit here, all GFI protected. It also has audible alarms. It tells you if your battery's getting low on a state of charge, time to turn on your generator. So this is available for power export for construction sites, uh, home uh, backup generation, emergency uh, generation, camping, whatever you want to do. The other feature of this truck that we're featuring in the, in the uh, 2014 uh, or the 2013 LA Auto Show is this solar uh, um, bed topper or this tonneau cover. We call this the sole trucks option. It's only $2,000 
And this is a legitimate industrial grade solar solution here that actually provides several hundred watts of power, not only to put more power back in your battery to extend your range, but you could run your campsite off of this or certain power tools up to 800 watts. Uh, it depends on how you option it, but before tax credits in all your mid 80s, mm -hmm. when you, with the tax credits, it puts you in the 70s. Some states, it gets it down into the 60s. So, but, so on a lease basis though, again, that's the takeaway here is, you're gonna pay more for your lease, but you're gonna save so much in fuel that your net savings, you'll have money in your pocket every month. It's not available everywhere. It's available to fleets only right now. Okay. And then uh, mid-2014, it'll be available to consumers. And there will be dealerships in California. There'll be four, five, six, or seven. And uh, we're already in negotiations with those contracts are being signed. So we anticipate those dealers will be online, first for service and then for, uh, for selling. Now, they'll all be uh, Chevrolet dealers because we only work with dealers that sell the Volt. So their mechanics are already trained in high voltage technology. We give them additional certification on this truck, and they're ready to roll. Excellent. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Oh, it's Appreciate been my pleasure. It. Yeah, thanks.